Welcome back to Cravings with Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys for vegan and vegetarian recipes. So I decided to share my Kala Chana. Now, very little is known about the black garbanzo beans. Most of you are familiar with the regular garbanzo bean or chickpea that's commonly used in chana masala. Now, this bean is a lot smaller and is dark in color and is packed with protein. This recipe is super simple. I'm going to present it the same way my mom and my grandmother did. It's cooked together with spices and coconut. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I upload new videos every week, so make sure that you're subscribed so you're the first to see it. Also, make sure to ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon, that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. I'm going to soak one cup of dry garbanzo beans, also called kala chana. Kala means black and chana is literally translated to beans or gram. I like to top this with water and leave it overnight to soak for best results. The next day, you're going to see a great change in appearance. They've almost doubled in size and have a golden glow. I'm going to use my pressure cooker to cook these beans quickly. Just salt the water, throw it in. Cover it and add the stopper and let it cook for about two whistles. it and if you don't think they're cooked enough you can cook it for another whistle or so if you don't have a pressure cooker don't worry you can just cook this in a pot it will just take a lot longer this looks perfect now so I'm just going to leave it aside in a saute pan I'm going to add a few tablespoons of oil and I'm going to throw in about one cup of diced onions and I'm going to saute this till it turns nice and golden brown I'm also going to add a tablespoon of minced garlic and a tablespoon of sliced green chilies. Next, I'm going to add a teaspoon of mustard seeds and I'm going to follow this with some powdered spices. I've got a half teaspoon each of red chili powder and turmeric powder and I'm also going to add one teaspoon of garam masala. I have a great recipe for garam masala that I'm going to throw at the end of this video as well as in the description. Mix this well and quickly add the drained black gram and about one cup of the cooking liquid. Cover this and allow it to cook for about five to seven minutes. I've got a cup of fresh coconut here and I'm just going to process it. You can buy grated or frozen fresh coconut as well. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime juice just to wake this up. I'm going to taste for salt and add salt as required. One teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper. And finally, the grated coconut. Cook this for just another minute and it's ready to eat. Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Sweet Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this very delicious and simple recipe for Kala Chana. It's great on its own, but it's also a fantastic side. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, guys. I upload new videos every week, so make sure that you're subscribed. Do share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. Also, make sure to ring the bell. That's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. And the fun doesn't stop there. Follow me on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Till I see you next time, take care, guys. Bye.